Hi, and welcome to my video on Find the Exact Trig Ratios of Special Rotation, Part 3, when the reference angle is 45 degrees. Let's recall that a unit circle has a radius of 1, and cos is the x over the r, which is x over 1 because the radius is 1 so cos is the x on the unit circle sine is the y over the radius over r so that's y over 1 which is y so we're dealing with the reference angle of 45 so if this is a, a right angle this angle is 45 degrees this angle is 45 degrees that means these two sides are equal because of the I, converse of the ITT. That means this side is N, this side is N, two sides equal, and the hypotenuse is N root 2. We reviewed that in the previous videos on special right triangles. So if we take this triangle and divide each side by N, so N divided by N is 1, n divided by n is 1, and n root 2 divided by n is root 2. So that's when n is equal to 1, if you want to divide by n or make n, or you can make n equal to 1. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if we take this triangle and divide by root 2, so if you divide each of these sides by root 2, you will get 1 over root 2 right here, which is rationalize root 2 over root 2 is root 2 divided by 2. So this side, this is a 45. That's a 45. Make sure these triangles are similar by AA. So this side here becomes root 2 over 2. This side, which is 1, also becomes root 2 over 2. And the hypotenuse, if we divide root 2 by root 2, we get a 1. So this is a right triangle, and the hypotenuse is 1. And the sides are root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, and we have a 45 right triangle. So let's do some examples. Find the exact patterns of sine or cos theta and sine theta for theta. So theta in this diagram we're going to say theta is 45 degrees so the radius of the circle is 1 this point here is 1 comma 0 we rotate up till we hit the 45 degree and 45 degrees rotating up so this point moves up to here and the rotation is 45 degrees on the circle we draw terminal arm going out to this point of the rotation we drop a perpendicular to the x-axis so because this arc is 45 this central angle is 45 we got a 90 45 45 right triangle the hypotenuse is 1 so that means the radius of the circle is 1 so that radius there is 1 so the hypotenuse is also 1 and so these sides are root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. So that means this point where it stops is root 2 over 2 for the x, root 2 over 2 for the y. So cos is the x of the 45 degrees. So cos is root 2 over 2. Sine is the y, which is root 2 over 2. Cos is the x, sine is the y. When you have a circle whose radius is 1, cos is the x, sine is the y. Now, if we rotate 135 degrees, again, from this point, when the radius of the circle is 1, we rotate 135 degrees, so we rotate up to 90. And let's say that's 135 rotation here. So we draw a terminal arm out to that where the rotation stops, drop a perpendicular to the x-axis. And because that's 135 degree rotation, this arc left here, or this angle is 45 degrees. 
So that's 135 and 45 makes a 90. So this angle is 45. Again, the radius of the circle is 1, so the hypotenuse of the triangle is 1. So the sides are root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. Because this is the x in the second quadrant, the x is negative, and the y is positive. So the coordinates of this point, right here, the x is negative root 2 over 2, and the y is a positive root 2 over 2. And the cos of 335 degree rotation is the x, which is negative root 2 over 2, and the sine of 135 degree rotation is positive root 2 over 2. Sine is the y. Okay, let's continue our rotations. And we have more rotations, which go to the uh, find the cos and sine of the exact values. And theta here is 225. So again, 1 comma 0, because the radius of the circle is 1. We rotate 225 degrees, so that's 180 all the way around to here. And that means we got to go 45 more. So 45 more, approximately right here. So that's 225 degree rotation. We draw a terminal arm out to the rotation. And we drop a perpendicular to the x-axis. And because that's 225 degrees, that's 180 to here, so it's 45 left over. So this arc is 45, reference angle is 45, this angle is 45, and the hypotenuse, or the radius of the circle is 1, so the hypotenuse from the center to here is 1, and the sides are 45, 45, so the sides are root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, and the x is negative in the third quadrant, and the y is negative in the third quadrant, because the y is going down. So the coordinates of these two points, x is negative root 2 over 2, y is negative root 2 over 2, and the cos of the 225 is the x, and the unit circle's radius is 1, so cos is negative root 2 over 2, and the sine of 225 is the y, which is negative root 2 over 2. And we have another rotation that takes us into the third quadrant. So again, this is the point uh, 1, 0. The radius of the circle is 1. So we rotate 325 degrees. So that's a 90, 180, 270. And we need to go 45 more. So that rotation is 315 degrees. Ends up into the fourth quadrant. Draw a terminal arm, drop a perpendicular to the x-axis. So that's 315. This arc right here is 45, so this central angle is 45. And we got a 45, 90, 45 right triangle. So the radius of the circle is 1, so the hypotenuse is 1. So this side is root 2 over 2, and this side is root 2 over 2. And x is positive in the fourth quadrant. And y is negative in the fourth quadrant. It's going down. So the, this point has x is root 2 over 2. It has the y negative root 2 over 2. And cos of 315 degrees. Cos is the x, root 2 over 2. And the sine of 315 degrees is negative root 2 over 2, sine is the y. So notice I went from quadrant rotation to quadrant 1, then to 2, then to 3, and then to 4. So if we put it all together, and we have this circle with this point, so this is the first one. This was the 45 degree rotation right here. So if I what happens, because they're all 45s, so I'm going to draw a chord. And you can see passing through the center, but the, because all the reference angles are 45, 
and we have all triangles are similar, perpendicular to the x-axis, perpendicular to the x-axis. So this rotation right here is 45, and this is a perpendicular. These are perpendiculars. So that means that this angle is 45, this angle is 45, and we have root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, and if we rotate to here, from here, right around, this one would be 135 degree rotation, and the reference angle ends up to be a 45, so this angle is a 45, so this is a root 2 over 2, and this is root 2 over 2, but the y is positive, and the x is negative, so I'll put the coordinates of these points in now. Root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. I put the coordinates of this point in. X is negative root 2 over 2. And Y is a positive root 2 over 2. And when we rotate from, from this point uh, 1, 0 right around to here, this rotation is 225 degrees. Reference angle is 45. This angle is 45, so the sides are the same, so that's the root 2 over 2, but it's the y, so it's negative, and this is the x, which is already negative, because the x is negative in the second quadrant and the third quadrant, so the coordinates of this point are negative root 2 over 2, which is the x, and a negative root 2 over 2, which is the y. And let's do the other rotation that I did right around to here, and that rotation is 315 degrees, 45 degree right here, so the reference angle is 45, this angle is 45, this side is root 2 over 2, and the y is a root 2 over 2, but it's negative, so the coordinates of this point, x is root 2 over 2, and the y is a negative root 2 over 2. And notice the butterfly, because the reference angle is 45 in each of these uh, quadrants, notice the x, there are all these values are the same, root 2 over 2, but here x is positive, x is positive, y is positive here, negative here, and over in the quadrant 2, the x is negative and the y is positive. Quadrant 3, the x and the y is both negatives. And in quadrant 4, the x is positive and the y is negative, but they're all the same values except plus minus because of the 45 degree reference. Okay, what about the exact values of 405? Now 405 is too large, so we subtract 360 and we'll get a 45 degree angle. So the cos of 405 is the same as the cosine of 45. So instead of going 405 all the way around like that, just go up here 45 degrees. And we set up a right triangle. Remember we're on the unit circle whose radius is 1, perpendicular to the x-axis, 45, 45. So that's root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. And the radius of the circle is 1. So the cos... And the sine is in terms of 45, or you can do 405. You will get the cos is the x, root 2 over 2, and the sine is the y, root 2 over 2. And what about the cos of a negative uh, 495? If you take a 495 and add on 360, you'll get a negative 135. If you add 360 again, you add 360 twice, you get 225. So the sine of 225 is the same as a negative 495, but this is the smallest positive coterminal angle. So if you plot 225, it ends up to be 225 degrees is the same as a negative. 490 if you went backwards to here, and the reference angle is 45 when you drop a perpendicular to the x-axis, and the 
side is root 2 over 2, this side is root 2 over 2, the x is negative, the y is negative, and the cos is the x, which is the negative root 2 over 2, and the sine is the y, which is the negative root 2 over 2. And if you use a calculator, a negative root or root 2 over 2 is 0.707. That's the way to check it. So if you punch in uh, cos 405 and hit your calculator, you won't get root 2 over 2. You'll get 0.707. So 0.707 is a, an approximate decimal for root 2 over 2. And root 2 over 2 is the exact value. And this calculate individual ones, find the exact value of each and at 100 and, for 225 degrees. So let's draw a circle. Let's rotate 225 degrees, 90, 180, right to here. That's 225. Terminal arm goes out. Perpendicular goes to the x-axis, always to the x. So this is is 180 and this is a 45 from here so this angle is 45 this one is 45 so we got a root 2 over 2 root 2 over 2 but the x is negative and the y is negative so the cos is the x negative root 2 over 2 and what about the sine of 315 and again I always draw a circle 315 degrees is 90, 180, 270, right to here, and that's 315 degree rotation. This is a terminal arm going out through. Again, remember we're on the unit circle whose radius is 1, so this point is 1, 0, perpendicular. So 315 degrees, this arc here is 45 degrees, so this angle is 45. This angle is 45. The sides are the same. The radius of the circle is 1, so the hypotenuse of the triangle is 1. This is a root 2 over 2. This is root 2 over 2. That's positive, and the y is negative. So the sine is the y, so it's a negative root 2 over 2. And if you check it with your calculator, that should be a negative 0.707. But I always like to draw the diagrams. And what about the tan? Now, the tan, so the best way I can explain the tan, or without using a calculator, is to do a negative 135. So the tan of a negative 135 is the same as the tan of 225. So if you add 360 to negative 135, you get a 225. A 225 is 90, 180, and right in the middle here. So that rotation of 225 is the same as you started here and went a negative 135 perpendicular. This is a 180, so that's a 45. So this angle is 45. This angle is 45. The sides are root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. The x is negative. The y is negative. And the tan, tan is the y over the x. So the y is a negative root 2 over 2, and the x is a negative root 2 over 2, and that's the same um, numbers divided by each other, so you get a 1. So check with your calculator. The tan of a negative 135 should be 1. The tan of 125 should be a 1. So your calculator is a check. But I'm doing this to explain why. And again, it's a unit circle whose radius radius is 1. And the secant of 495, if you take off uh, 360, you will get the secant of 135 degrees. And the secant is 1 over the cos of 135. So let's draw the circle. Here's the circle. And we have 135 degree rotation which is up as far as here. So that's the same as if I went all the way around and came to here again, that would be 495. But to get the smallest positive coterminal, I only need to plot the 135. So that's perpendicular to the x-axis. 
135, that's a 45, so the reference angle is 45, this angle is 45, that's a 1, that's around the unit circle, whose radius is 1, this point is 1, 0, rotating to here, so it's a, a 45 right triangle, so the sides are the same lengths, except the x on here is negative, the y is positive, so the, this is 1 over cos is the x, which is a negative root 2 over 2. So that becomes a negative 2 over root 2, because you multiply by the reciprocal, turn it upside down, and rationalize root 2 over root 2. So that's negative 2 root 2. Root 2 times root 2 is root 4, which is 2, and the 2's cancel, so I get a negative root 2. And that's how I work out. Notice I did the secant of the coterminal, and I did 1 over, and then I worked out the math. Good way to do it. Always keeps it in check. Find the exact value of each to cosecant of 675. So CSC is cosecant 675. If you subtract 360, you'll get a 315 degree angle. So, again, this draw the circle, let's rotate around 315 degrees. I could, you know, 675 is 360 and 315, so I just rotate 315 degrees, draw a terminal arm, remember the circle is, this point right here is 1, 0, the radius is 1, and we drop a perpendicular to the x-axis. So this is 1 from here to here, so the radius of the triangle is 1. And this is a 315 rotation, so that's a 45 there. So this angle is 45, this angle is 45, 90, 45, 45. So the length of this side is root 2 over 2. The length of this side is root 2 over 2. The x is positive, the y is negative. And the cosecant is 1 over, that begins with c, so I is a sine of 315, so that's 1 over. The sine is the y, so the y is the negative root 2 over 2, so that's 1 over, so that's the reciprocal, negative 2 over root 2, so I just worked that out just then. Negative 2 root 2, root 2 times root 2 is 2, 2's cancel, and I get a negative root 2 again. Because the sides are the same, the secant and cosecant is going to be the same value, plus or minus, depending on the quadrant. So we got a 675. So because it's negative, let's add 316. When you do, you get a negative 315. So we add 360 onto this, we get a negative 315. You add 360 again, you get a 45. So this Rotation is the same as if I went coterminal for a negative 675, it's 45. So let's draw a circle. And rotate 45 degrees. There's rotating 45 degrees. And we draw a terminal arm. Oh, a little bit. Should be straighter here. And the radius is 1. And we drop a perpendicular. 45 is the reference angle, 45, so it's root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, and the cot, the tan is the opposite over the adjacent, which is the y over the x, so the cot is the x over the y, because the reciprocals, so the x is root 2 over 2, and the y is root 2 over 2, and because we're deep, I don't have to work that out, that's just 1. Any number divided by itself is 1, except 0. And check, the cot of 45 is the tan of 45 reciprocal, but the tan of 45 is 1, and the cot of 45 is reciprocal, which is 1. So that brings us to the reference angles of uh, 45. I went through three videos now doing the reference angles in the unit circle of 30 and 60 and 45. And in this, if you like this video, click on the like button, subscribe button, the notification bell, 
visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.